Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to make a curry spiced uh, slow cooked pork. Um, now when I say curry spice I just mean curry spices from the store. And so you start off with cleaning a little bit of the pork roast. Uh, it's pretty easy you just cut off the inner skin. And what I'm going to do with it is first put it in a brine for another hour. The same reason as for the chicken that we did in another video is so that it get more tender and it can absorb more flavor. So I'm using a 2%, so one liter of water with 20 grams of salt. Uh, I dissolve it in there and I let the pork in for an hour. After that, I'm just gonna dip it dry and leave it to rest so that it can get really dry from itself. So once the hour is gone or 30 minutes is more than fine as well, now that I come to think of it, I'm putting the pork in the yogurt and I will be leaving it there for another hour. It's so that the pork gets a little bit fat with him or it doesn't need fat but becomes a little bit more tender and the outer layers of the pork will get more flavor into it as well. So just cover it nicely in some yogurt and let it sit there for an hour. And now that we are waiting for it, don't forget to hit that like or subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate to hear your comments or see that you like it. So once the hour is gone, it's pretty easy. You take the pork out of the yogurt and you rinse it off a little bit so that most of the outer layer is gone. After that, you just put it in a Ziploc bag um, with a little bit of the curry spice mix already from this, that you might have bought from the store, plus some oils and then just close it good and shake it up so that the spices get all around the pork. You can also do this by putting the spices on a plate and dip that the pork all over it. So after you mix all the spices and mix it all with a little bit of oil, close the bag. I will be cooking this on an hour or two on 65 degrees Celsius. So it will be cooked but not fully overcooked so that it comes dry. And then after that, you can just cool it off and just cut nice slices for on your sandwich. for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you all a very nice day and I hope to see you next time.